James, check this out. You push the view button here, and it gives you a 360 camera. Look at that. That is so bad. It's like, it doesn't look real at all. I don't see anything wrong with it. What are you Hey, it looks real to me. Oh my God. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the all new Lexus Grill. And it comes with a free car. Great deal. But the question always arises, if Lexuses are so reliable and they last for so long, why would you buy a new one? This is a 2003 Lexus LX470, and it can be yours for 10% of the price of the new one. And the owner will even throw in this red line and a snorkel and a tailgate badge that says Toyota on it instead of Lexus because I think they rebadged it when it was repainted. Hey, at least the center caps are 50% off. The car, they're 50%, there's only half the center caps are on the car. Good news, we found a center cap. Now we have three. Anyway, foot down. Aha, that is the sound of the 2UZFE V8. 235 horsepower. James says 409, but that. Anyway, the point is, is that this is a Toyota V8, which means that it will last forever. It's actually pretty much the same V8 that's in our 4Runner, except ours has the VVI, VVTI, the variable valve timing stuff. Either way, it sounds and feels the exact same in a straight line, except the rest of it doesn't feel the same as the 4Runner because this is a Lexus. That means that everything about it is Lexus-y. What's that mean? That means that the steering is light and smooth. It means that the car is insulated from the road, even though I'm on big knobby tires. It means that the seats are comfortable, the visibility is great, and everything is just plush and nice. Even the armrests are good. I don't really know how they're good, but they're just nice. Unfortunately, this one is no longer on the original air suspension, which is like one of the three things that made this not a Land Cruiser. They insulated it more, they gave it mirrors that kind of fold in and tilt down when you're reversing, and it has adjustable suspension. That's been removed on this because that's what everybody does because it's really expensive to fix and it eventually dies. And when you have 285,000 kilometers on a car, you've probably needed to replace the suspension. So the previous, previous owner put it on some aftermarket springs and coils, but it's kept the original lexus -y ride quality where it moves a lot. Lexus has never been afraid of suspension travel. It's very not German in the way that it does that. It just lets the whole thing move side to side and soak up the bumps. Corners be damned. And this particular Lexus slash Toyota is doing what all high mileage Toyotas and Lexuses do that I've ever driven. That is, once you stop looking at the small things that have worn out, or you're not driving into a parking lot and you feel the power steering doesn't work very well, and you're on the road just kind of rolling forward, it all just starts to work. It just kind of has a feeling that it might get there missing a shoe, but it'll get there. And I like that about it. Put it this way. If we were to sell our 4Runner tomorrow, we'd probably get 15 to 17,000 Canadian dollars for it, which is what this is for sale for. And between the two of them, I know which one I'd have. Maybe that wasn't clear, it's this one. Or spend $140,000 more and you'll be lapping up a life of luxury in the new LX the LX600, the pinnacle of modern day Lexus SUV. And as a result, it's really pricey as spec. This one is $152,000 Canadian, but it has fancy things and it's quicker and it's on a new platform. So it being on that new platform makes this 400 pounds lighter than the previous generation which puts it about the same weight sphere as the one Thomas is in, which is two generations back, unless you get the executive luxury package, which this has, so it is almost 6,000 pounds. But 
that gets you a lot of stuff. I'm gonna talk about most of that in a minute, but one of the things you do get is air suspension. Remember, you're spending 150,000 Canadian smackaroos here. It's luxury. As a result of that suspension, the ride is plush. Maybe slightly overly plush. There's a bit too much float. The car is constantly wafting and floating back and forth and left and right. It's a luxury feeling, but it's not one that provides driving confidence. But considering that we're on the 22 inch wheels, it's very, very soft. Every now and then there's an impact over a pothole and it kind of shudders through the chassis. That's gonna be hard to get away from. But for highway cruising and just rolling around, it is soft. You can nap in this car, as long as you're not the driver. Unless you're rocking out to the 25 speaker Mark Levinson sound system in this, which I have to say is rather dope. I still can't say that, can I? The other sound you'll hear in here is the sound of a 3.4 litre twin turboed V6. Toyota say 3.5, but they're very cheaply rounding up from 3.45. So gone is the V8. And with that, we're granted incredibly average fuel economy. I'm doing 17 litres per 100 kilometres. So that makes you wish that there was a hybrid engine available for this platform. Oh yeah, there is. But on the Tundra and the Sequoia, not on the LX for some reason. And even though it's got horsepower numbers in the 400s, it's not particularly quick. It's not gonna be able to take on an X7 or a Range Rover. The 10 speed automatic is fine, it stays out of your way. It has very cool paddle shifters, which I think you'd only really use for off-road stuff because it's not sporty enough to warrant it on the road, but they are very satisfying to click. But that's, that's when the 10 speed starts to feel very slow. This is a downshift from fourth to second here. Third, shift. Second, shift. Not a sports car. But on the subject of off-road stuff, this is an LX, so it's got that. It has four high and four low. It's got a locking diff. I have crawl mode and a whole bunch of off-roady type drive modes. But the thing that you end up focusing on when driving the LX is the, is the ease and the suppleness and the softness and the Lexusness because it has that in droves. From the driver's seat, no, this is not an X7 GLS Range Rover fighter. It's just not. But don't think of it as that. Think of it as a, a luxury land cruiser because we can't buy those in Canada and you can't buy them any more new in the US either. So this is what we've got. But even then, the price starts to become quite scary at 150 grand. And maybe you're better off getting a lower trimmed LX if you really want the Land Cruiser thing. So this isn't really a German competitor so much as it is the only option for Toyota slash Lexus. If you don't count the fact that there is a brand new, very nicely updated, hybrid optioned Sequoia, which is on the same platform. <sighs> it looks good, you know. Does it? No, the Sequoia. Oh, the Sequoia, yeah, yeah, they've done a good job with the redesign. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, a, it's a fence. I don't think they're trying to be offensive. I think it's more of an imposing... No, no, like, it looks like a fence turned sideways. Oh, yes, it is also offensive, I yeah. think. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think so. Yeah, uh, it, 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 I, I thought it was like a tree lines thing, you know, tree circles, and you can tell how old it is, since 2000, because this has, like, <laughs> three or four. <laughs> And it just I, was keeps I, was, I was counting, it's actually only 14 or something. Oh, but, that's uh, too bad. Yeah. Uh, it, it should only be seven, because it should stop right here, I think. Well, no, the bigger the grill, the newer the car is. That's the rule these days. That's true. Yeah, yeah. 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 How, how, will we, how will we know? Otherwise, that it's a new car. I actually don't have a big issue with the grill, so much as I do the packaging of this. Okay. So this is the executive luxury package. Yes. But the luxury package and the F-Sport package, they all get 22-inch wheels with low-profile tires. It doesn't hurt the ride that much, though. No, but it's an off-road car. It just feels... And that with the black paint and the chrome, it gives it an Infinity QX80 vibe. Just like the black and the chrome in general is very Infinity... Infinity? You don't want to be Infinity. You no, don't, we you don't want to do that. We don't. So I'm trying to picture this in, like, chalk. Um, with with black outline, Ooh. and I think it will start. It could look good. Yeah, yeah, it would definitely um, look more subtle. I, I listen. Other than the grill, and the profile, and the rear, and the overall shape, this is a good looking truck. <laughs> <laughs> look, it's not about don't, good looking. It's about know. off roading and luxury. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Well, you tell me this is good looking. 
it is. It, listen, it's the color I, of an old building. Hold on, you're gonna. <laughs> it is the color of an old building. You're and you're gonna show me a bunch of technology in a second, yeah, right? Yeah. But I want to show. I don't think you have this, and this is. This is like there's real no, stuff. There's right? nothing you have that this doesn't Just have. go watch over there on that corner and I will show you something real cool. Ready? The snorkel. Turn that on and oh. Oh, wait. That's small. That's supposed to, it's supposed to, that's supposed to come up more than that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's usually longer. Yeah, I've heard that before. Um, this, there's some interesting stuff going on here, isn't there? Yeah. Because So we've got this like, this head, headlight that's declared itself self-protected right? yeah it's not with that's for uh, also, it's like an intake there's air for the uh cold air intake on the for power I noticed, I noticed when you closed this just now yeah listen this, okay this doesn't seem to want to nothing on a there. little bit of glue can't fix um, well okay. i hope you've got some glue left because i also noticed that this doesn't have much fidelity to the car either that's one of the rotating ones it's it will it will spin yeah it will spin and it will clean that light as well that's years of extreme power just yeah just weathering it away <laughs> yeah, it's erosion <laughs> but hey at least you've got the right wheel and tire setup uh yeah yeah got some big knobby uh yeah. big knobby off-road tires come back here the new one's got this like streamlined tail lights going on this has the bigger tail lights yeah and it has the Thomas, why does this say Toyota okay. Land Cruiser? Yeah, it says on the Toyota back. on the back because when they repainted it, they put new back. It is a Toyota Land Cruiser. Right. You know what? It is. It is. Listen, this car is actually only the air suspension, which this doesn't have, a steering wheel and a grill away from being a Toyota Land Cruiser and some like insulation and stuff, right? So it's like this is an homage. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But... All right, well, you've shown me your tech. <laughs> okay. Let me show you mine. Okay, well, so we can we look at the interior of this after we look at this one? Yeah. Because it's really cool in there. Yeah. It's like MS DOS level stuff. Okay. Oh, you soft closed. Soft closed. I didn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I just wanted to say we just made fun of that thing a fair bit. You will. You did. I defended its honor. Yeah. I just want to say that that is a, the type of vehicle that you're just going to keep fixing. Okay because it will just always work for you, as long as you take care of it. And it's had a hard life, be so, nice sorry, to it. Sorry, as long as you fix it, it will work? Yes. Is that not true for everything? No, it's not, because if you, it, because it's not. There's like an old BMW, <laughs> if you, sometimes you'll get to a point where it's not worth fixing anymore. Right. That one will always, as long as you fix the rust, which the owner has done, he's fixed a whole bunch of uh, little small rust patches and he's stopped the rust in its tracks, right? Yeah. And now you can keep, using it for driving around on the road or off-roading forever. Well, I don't know what this forever. is going to look like in 19 years. Right. What? See? That, yeah. It's not, um, it's pretty good. But now that we're in here, okay. screen, screen, screens. Lots and lots of screens. Yeah. Um, okay, so first of all, before we get to the technology, yeah. the, it, it is, the leather is very nice in here. Well, this has, yeah, so keep in mind this has the executive luxury package. It's four, yeah. In Canadian dollars, it's 44 grand. 44 yeah. grand, but that includes the rear seats though, right? The fancy rear seats. It's, we've got the, yeah, the third row delete and the, right. and, yeah, the two captain's chairs. Uh, um, this has semi-aniline leather and wood on the doors. And, what was that uh, phrase? Semi-what? Semi-aniline. You don't know what that means, do you? Listen, you're aniline. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what it means. Um, oh my god. Uh, we don't. There are a few things we don't have. Like so, uh, it's also got. So let me just talk about the rear seats then quickly, if you're going to mention those. Okay. These are the two captain's chairs. Yeah. Um, they are in true Lexus like LS fashion. It's more cocooning than roomy. Okay. Yes. Uh, but I know it, what you mean. I have plenty of room in any seating position. Our yeah. sound engineer Harrison, has, is, who's six foot six, can is it touching the roof with his head in this normal position, but when right. he leans back, he's comfy. And all the seats are very soft and nice. Very, they? They're very comfortable. There's, yeah. a, there's a plenty of leg room. Um, and yeah, we've got the center console stuff. So we've got the VIP climate screen, Ooh. where you can control only one seat at a time. So the two of you can't adjust at the same time. <laughs> okay. Um, and then there's a wireless charger in the back, which we don't have in the front. Oh, but again, yeah. all part of that package. Listen, I don't care for wireless chargers very much. The only reason I want at least one wireless charger in a car is yeah. insurance. It's like backup. I like it if there's wireless CarPlay, which there is on this. Right. Which is you just throw the you throw the phone down, and you never have to plug anything in every time you get in the car. But so I know I agree that is a bit outdated there, and it's also outdated in the fact that it's full of buttons and not touchscreen stuff which is a good thing, right? Yeah, well, the buttons that matter, the heated seats yes. and the cooled seats. Thank you, it's not that easy hard. Easy to press. Just, 
Uh, and, but then we have this two screen setup, which in theory seems lovely because then here's my Apple CarPlay yep. and here's the stuff I, I, wanna, I wanna care about. This um, is the same interface as the new Tundra, right? It's the, it's the new tech. With it's the this. same, yeah, it's the new, and this yep. new NX as well. Right. Um, it, it, this is fine. Then there's got the second screen here, which is climate control and a few other things. Okay. But it's, it's not massively intuitive what you can and can't control. So here I can, I can do this up and down. Yep. And then there's three menus in this whole screen. They all spawn a screen from the button. Okay, I see. Which is really strange. And so then I can just select a color then. You can't right? select colors, no. What? And, you, and you can't drag these. I don't understand. You can only press. This is to show what happens when you change the contrast and brightness, like the beginning of so the video So that's not game. a button? This is not a button. You can't have a pink screen. Wait, so I can drag my finger on no, this? No, you can't drag it. You can no, drag. I can't drag my finger on that. This you can but drag. But I can drag my finger on so this. So there's functionality that has in a different menu that it doesn't have in the other And menu. none of this is a touch screen. Well, oh, there you okay, go. Okay, so that's a touch screen. The G screen. meter allows you to delete the G monitor records. <laughs> I think you just said to me that it's, it's not very intuitive. I think this is the definition of yeah. not intuitive. Yes, yes, yeah, not intuitive at all. No. Okay. But for me, <laughs> I'm be on the same page as you. I just keep it on climate control, okay. which I can control with the buttons, and then yes. the other stuff I just don't, I just don't use. Right. So then it works. Yeah. So, excuse me, who's Jen? Listen, Jill's the only girl in my life. I promise. Who is Jen? I, I thought I thought it was Jessica. No. Up until now. The, there's my past is haunting me. <laughs> okay. Um, um, anyway, the the, the 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 gauge cluster is old looking. It does look old immediately, yeah. Yeah, and it's weird because... It's digital. Half, so, but like, usually it's the other way around, isn't it? Where like you get like the Speedo and the TAC would be analog and then there'd be digital bits around it. Yeah. They've reversed it, so we've got analog. And the yeah, temperature is analog and oil. Yeah, and then there's a digital gauge. Also, this doesn't look that new. I'm pretty sure that those graphics right there are the same, that's the same like font and resolution that's been in Lexuses for like 10 years. Yeah, which so, is which is weird because something like the Sequoia, not to bring it up again. Not to bring it up again. Is all the new Toyota tech that the new Tundra had, so. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. It's like, this could have been nicer, you know? It doesn't feel like the price of the car compared yeah. to the Germans. But the, the quality of the materials does. So we've yep. got, you know, the wood on the steering wheel. It's very nice. We've got, the, the all the leathers feel great. Yeah. And, and in true LX fashion, because the X meaning crossover, does it? But I think crossover in the traditional sense, right? It crosses over between luxury and, and off-roadiness. Off yeah. Yes. Okay. Or, or there's a, it, some people call it a, a, the Lexus four-wheel drive. That's a back, that's backronymic. Um, backronymic? This is a backronym. No, what's a, no, it's acronym. No, acronym is when you take words and turn them into a shorter word with the letters. Yeah. Backron backronym. <laughs> I learned this literally last night. <laughs> so I don't what know. is happening A backronym right is when you have the letters only is your information okay. and you expand a meaning from it with words. That doesn't need to have a word. It's, well, it's better to quite backronymic. Um, <laughs> oh my God. So, but yeah, the door handle, if you put your hand around the door handle, yep. half of it is, is rubber. Is rubber and the other half is leather. So yeah. it, it captures the vibe of this car. It's 50%, it's, it's two-faced. It's got luxury and off-roadiness. Yeah. So what does the one from 19 years ago have? E everything you need and more. Yeah, and it all comes off, <laughs> unwillingly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Can I start it? Yeah. Uh, no. I no. No. Um. No. I prefer that you don't. Why? I was. I think it was. Well, this is smell. Yeah. I, I thought that was it, you. No. No. I don't smell like gasoline. <laughs> so I don't want it to. Oh, well, you're a real gearhead, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I won't start it. it. Yeah. Oh, so okay. We got wood. Yep. Yep. And leather. Yep. Both. Yep. Both present. Exactly. So yep. Check. Did you? Yeah. Um. Otherwise, this looks very much like the Land Cruiser from the era. Right. Because it is, with a Lexus steering wheel on it, pretty much. Yeah, almost identical, I think. Yes. Um, so. Except for this button. Right, which doesn't work now because it's got aftermarket suspension on it, which is a bit of a better ride, I think. Right. Um, any, anyway, this has everything that you need, right? For, the, yeah. for less than the price of the, of the luxury package, a lot less than the a price. lot less than yeah, the luxury package half. on the car. You can get this entire, this entire Lexus. But would you though? Well, well, it, 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 depend, it depends on what your goals are. If your goals are, you know, going anywhere forever, right? Not ever having to worry. This is the vehicle that you get because it's just going to do that. But the owner said this has right? been in the shop quite a lot. No, no, no. He's just been he's just been fixing a few things here and there. Right, be well, be that's what happens. It, look, yeah. It's got two hundred and eighty-five thousand kilometers on it. Any car, that's when it good. gets to that level, yeah. it's going to need a few things. 
thankfully he's addressed almost all of them, right? This screen here is, is super high tech. Um, in true LX fashion. Yeah, no, it looks like the uh, the loading screen from Jill of the Jungle on MS DOS. Do you have ever played that game? I didn't play that. Okay, we'll throw up a screenshot. That's what that looks like to me. And it's showing off the pretty epic fuel economy there as well. Thirty-eight point four liters per hundred kilometers. I was ripping it. I was ripping it. Yeah. That, I think that might be the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, just, it's just after refueling. It's, it yeah. hasn't. Been, it hasn't averaged. We've been ripping it since we fueled it. That's by all it's by the number, yes. it has almost as many analog gauges as the newest one. So <laughs> yeah. there's that. There is that, yeah. Actually, uh, the gauges look very cool. They almost look out of place. They look a little bit newer than everything else for some reason to me. I don't know why, but they're really easy to read and they're nice. Seats are comfy. Seats are very comfortable and the seats are very comfortable in the rear. Yeah. Right? Lexus they, are doing a good job with the seats. They've, all, they've always done a pretty good job. Yep. The, the, it's funny because the overall vibe of this car is still very similar to that on yeah. the inside. Yeah. Got grab handles got on grab both. Handles. Everything's this like is leather, leather all the way around here. It is leather. See that? This was all, this was luxury, luxury versus luxury off-road. This It's very off Already. We got high, low, you, know, you got the, all the adjustments and, you know, everything. Manual handbrake? Come on. What else do you want, really? No, here's the thing. Yeah. I don't visually like the look of Lexus's, Lexi, Lexi's, from this era. Right. I don't like this color wood. I don't like the cream color. No, it hasn't aged that well. But I have had a Lexus from this era. A, I, yeah, I had a, an RX 300, I think. And you know what that car has done? I bought it for $1,800. Still running? It's still running perfectly. It is also missing a headlight cover, but it is running perfectly and it refuses to die. I've tried to get rid of it five times, but I can't bring myself to do it because it owes me nothing. Uh, there's and a charm. There's a charm. There's a charm. Yeah. This will do the same thing. It's just going to, it's like, as the years go by, the leather will get more polished, right? Yeah. The suspension <laughs> might get a little bit softer. It the would engine, get shinier. It would get shinier. The engine might get a little tired, but it will always continue running. And but that it, is why you want one of these. It doesn't have a 25-speaker Mark Levinson sound system like the new one. No, but it has a Mark Levinson sound system. Does it have a cool box? No, it does not have a cool box. It doesn't... It doesn't ha I'm going to check in the... Listen, James, it has a multi-disc CD changer. I'm think, not sure what more you need than that. I really. think we left that bef behind too soon as a technology. What? I still have CDs. <laughs> you still have CDs? Yeah. You want CDs? Yeah. I think these two vehicles represent two different things that they compete with. For this, you're like, okay, what com combat everything thing can I get for 17 grand? Yes, exactly. Whereas the new one really begs the question at the price of 152. Yes. Range Rovers. Yeah. X seven. Exactly. Because Range Rovers with this mileage in this year yeah. are a pain. A big, big, big pain. <laughs> this is a vehicle that you, you you'd buy as a as an extra car either as an enthusiast or you're gonna use it for working because it's just gonna get the job done. But the thing that I that was most interesting in these old versus new videos, we always like see similarities between the cars or differences obviously, but there's always like some part of it that we hope carries over. And this definitely that definitely feels like this in the way that it drives. And that's a good, and that's a good thing. And that's a good thing. Yeah. So at least that one has kind of captured the spirit of this, which is still running, and maybe that one will continue running. It's too. captured the spirit of everything. That grill is just this huge Ghostbuster collection tank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we conclude? Yeah. Okay, yes, it's pricey. And yes, there are better looking Better driving, more luxurious, more powerful, better packaged, better priced rivals out there. But... Uh... Thomas, help me out here. But... It it does ride soft. Yeah, 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 it does, it does. Um, too soft. Look, in all seriousness, for brand loyalists, it's now more fuel efficient. It has a sound system that slaps harder than Will Smith at the Oscars. Couple that with its off-road chops and assumed reliability, and the LX still holds its own. It just wouldn't be our first choice. And if this 2003 LX is anything to go by, the new one will keep on chugging for generations, because even though this particular example has some uh, patina, it feels like the type of truck that will keep on running. Patch a few holes here, rebuild the power steering system there, and it will continue to be a soft yet stalwart companion. It will always be like Little John to your Robin Hood. Oh, it's got a Little John all right. Right on its Robin Hood. Oh, James, leave it alone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>